Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make custom villagers on Minecraft PlayStation 3 edition. So this is a really easy way to do it. All you have to do is just copy every MBT data you need and all you have to change is just the traits. So yeah guys, I made a tutorial before uh, with custom villagers but some people say it doesn't work or it freezes so I just wanted to uh, update this tutorial and make it easier for you guys to do this so first you want to make sure you create a super flat world and you want to make sure you turn off villages because if you don't turn off villages it's not gonna find your inventory tag I don't know why it does that but yeah you make sure you're on super flat so when you're uh, on super flat you want to set it tonight you want to set your spawn so just get a bed and set your spawn into it so when you set it your spawn just break the bed, it doesn't matter, you can let it stay, it doesn't really matter, uh, you don't need to do this. But yeah, when you guys uh, set your spawn, you want to get a boat and you want to sit into it. Then you just want to exit and save your game. So when you guys exit it and save your game, you want to exit Minecraft. So let me quickly just close my game. It's kind of slow though. So yeah, you close your game, then you get your flash drive or your USB device, whatever you want to call it. And you want to put it into your PS3. Should be a new folder into your saves. So go to your save data utility and find your vault. So here's my wall that I want to mod. So you just want just look at the picture which one is the one you are doing. Yeah, so this is the one. Press copy and copy it to your USB device. So when you guys have copied it on your USB device, I see you guys back on the PC. So when you guys are on the PC, you want to make sure that you have your world on your desktop. So when you have it you want to go to Minecraft PlayStation 3 save tool and you want to open up the world into it. So you press this and you find your MB NPEB file or MPUB file or whatever. Then you go to MT Explorer and you open it up. Like this. They will see your name. You will try to look for that. You try to look for your name and open that up and then you see all the information right here so what you want to do is copy this tag copy the pause tag it's the position tag it it tells you where you are it tells you where the item is so when you did that you want to open up the second mbt explorer and you want to open up the custom villager file then you want to go to its writing and you want to delete that position tag then you want to paste yours into it when you done that, you, you copy the villagers MT data, you delete yours and you copy it in here. So when you guys have done that, you copy all the trade stuff and stuff. So guys, um, you will need to make the trade by yourself. You can close the other MBT Explorer. But guys, you have to uh, make the trades by yourself. So for example, I'm going to do a sword with a name on it right now let's use a diamond sword so 276 so you wanna let's say uh, it's free so you need zero items and all you it doesn't matter which block you uh, place I'm just gonna put one but if it's free you just wanna have buy on zero like the buy the count needs to be a zero if you want it to be free make sure you change this uh, to a really big number so it doesn't so the trade doesn't run out so you go to sell then uh, I want a time sword so let's look for it so right here 276 276 and make it two and we're going to give it names so make a compound we call it tag you want to make another one in here 
and you want to call it display. Then you make a string tag and you call it name. For example, I'm gonna make a speed sword, so I wanna name this speed sword. So I'm going to make another compound. Let me get my. No, that's not it. Let me get my list of IDs right here. So right here you have potion IDs and right here are the attributes. So first you want to make a compound and call it tag. Then you want to make a list into it. And we'll call it attribute modifiers. Like this. And when you guys done that, you want to make a tag in here. Then you want to make a int tag and you call it idea. Then you make another one and call this operation. Make another one and call this one UU idea. And then you make a double tag and you want to call this amount. So for example, I'm gonna make this sword really fuck you, like 100% quick. So let's make it just one. Give it speed one. Operation, keep it zero. If you want, if you don't want it to percent, if you want it to be percent, you can change it to one. And we're going to make it speed. So you wanna change this movement speed, and you wanna. Change the ID to 3. So now we got a speed sword for free. So we're going to save all of this. So save all modified tags. Close this up. And exit and save on the PS3 save tool. So once you guys have done that, you want to go copy this back to your save file show you how to do this so you go to your flash drive ps3 you want to delete the other one you want to make sure which one it is so you delete this one then you copy it back over here so when you guys done that you need to copy it back over your ps3 so I see you guys on the ps3 again Alright, so when you guys are back on the PC, PS3, you want to go here, you want to go to USB device and you want to copy it over back to your PS3. And when you guys done that, you want to load up Minecraft again. So I'm gonna skip this loading. Alright, so you want to go back to your modded world. And then you will see you have a custom villager with a speed sword that is free to get. It's a bit slow for me, so have to wait a bit just skip the video a bit alright so it's loaded now you go to your wall and when you enter it you will notice that you're riding a villager So just dismount it and then trade the villager and you will see guys you can get this sword for free. It has one speed so it's extremely fast. If you guys don't want it to be f this fast you can put 0, 0,1 or whatever so it, it's not that fast but this is a pretty cool sword guys. Uh, yeah really OP actually. You guys can see I'm crouching goes really quick. But yeah guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, if you guys did then leave a like on this video, subscribe for more, comment and share, and I see you guys in the next one, peace.